Hi there, this is Iman Neo. Welcome to my channel. So in this series, we are implementing a game using Flutter and Flame Game Engine, and it is called Flappy Dash. And in this episode, we are going to add some audio and sound effects to the game. So let's get started. At first, let's take a look at the latest state of the game that we have. So here we have the idle state where you see the player and also the tap to play text. And when you tap for the first time, the game starts and you can go through the pipes. So we have the scoring system. You will see the score on the top center. And also when you hit a pipe, you lose and you see the game over a screen and you can tap here, play again to restart the game. So here we are going to add a background music and also a sound effect when you pass a pipe. So to do that, I'm gonna use a website called Pixabay. So here you will have access to some free resources. For example, I found this beautiful background audio. So let me play it. Yeah, by the way, it is 40 seconds and after that it ends like this. Uh, if the session is longer than 40 seconds, it's gonna be challenging, but for now it's fine. Maybe in the future we can find two points, for example, here and here. And then we can loop through the last part of the audio. So this way we can have an infinite audio for the background. So let me download it. Yes, it is here. The background music is here. And also here I have a sound effect. So let me play it. You see, it's an audio that we are going to play it when you collect a score or when you pass a pipe. So let me download it. Yes, so now we have the game music and also the sound effect here. So let me copy these two. And here, let me change the branch to part nine. As you know, in each episode, we are going to create a new branch. So this way you are able to compare the code with the previous episodes to see what is going on. And yeah, so in the assets, let me create a new directory called audio. And I will paste the audio and sound effect here. So this is the background music. Let's rename it to background and this is the sound effect i'm gonna change the name to a score for example yeah and let's see add them to the git to have them in green color yes and in the next step we have to play the audio in the game so if you take a look at the flame documentation uh, you see that here we have some bridge packages. So for example, here we have flame audio, which is a wrapper around the audio player that we have. So for example, if you open the flame audio and if you open the powerspec.yaml, you see that it is using audio players. So it's a wrapper that makes you able to use the package inside the Flame game engine and it adds some optimization for the background music and so on and so forth. And also, for example, here we have Flame Block that we already using it. And for example, we have Flame Forge 2D. So this is for physics. When you have physics in your game, you can use this bridge package. Or for example, here we have network assets. So this is for when you are loading your assets from network. And yeah, so here we have flame rive. You can import your rive animations. And yeah, so the point is that it is composable. I mean, you can compose different kind of packages into your flame game that you have, or you can just use other libraries that is available. For example, we have a library called Flutter so loud it is a library that is an audio engine. It helps you to play the audio with low latency and in high performance. So I had better experience with Flutter so loud rather than the flame audio. So I'm going to use Flutter so loud. You know, you are free to use any kind of package or library that you want, but these are just the bridge packages that are available by flame. 
And yeah, so I'm going to close it and we are going to use Flutter Solout. So yeah, as I said, it is an audio engine. So it has some features, for example, you can have gapless looping. So it means it can loop the audio very quickly without understanding that it is stopped and it is playing again. Or it can load the audio from RAM or play it from the disk. Also, you can fade the audio, for example, when the game ends. Instead of changing volume from 100 to 0 to stop it, you can fade it. You can change it with an animation. So it feels better in speaking of user experience to see that the audio is not stopping suddenly. And also it has 3D positional audio. It is a very cool feature. So suppose that you are building either a 2D game or 3D game and you want to hear the audios based on the component that you have in the map. So for example, I'm a player in a first person shooter game and when someone walks behind me, I can hear the footstep audio from behind when I have a headphone. And for example, if there's an explosion on the right side of me in the game, I can hear it from the right side in my headphone. So this is the 3D positioning. So the point is that audio has a position and also player has the position. So you hear the audio based on their position in the game. And also it supports all the formats, MP3, WAV, OGG and FLAC. And also it has some audio effects. For example, you can have echo, you can have reverb, filter, equalizer and more. So the point is that it is a wrapper around the Solout C++ audio engine. And it is an audio engine that is written in C++. And because in Flutter you can use Dart FFI, that means you can use C++ libraries that are available. So that's why the Flutter Solout is a wrapper around the Solout package that we have in C++. And then you are able to use it. So I will put the links into the description. And also I have a video in my channel. I explained the Flutter Solout and you can take a look at it. For now, I'm just going to import it in my project. I'm gonna say Flutter pub add Flutter Solout. Okay, so it is added. We can check the pub spec YAML file. Yeah, so it just, uh, you know, when you write the flutter pop add command, it just finds the latest version of the package and it just adds it to the powerspec.yaml file that you have. And yeah, so we are ready to go. By the way, we need to add the audio directory in our powerspec file. So in the assets, I'm gonna add audio. So this way the flutter loads the assets or the audio files from this directory. Now let's create a new file called audio helper and it's gonna be a wrapper around the uh, library that we are using and it allows us to play the audio and the sound effects. So I'm gonna do a flutter pop get to get rid of this message and I'm gonna say class audio player and here I'm gonna have a so loud instance so it's gonna be a late variable maybe and we have a future of initialize initialize and it's gonna be a async function and in so loud we have init yes so the point is that you need to call the init method and we are gonna assign a value to the soul out. So as I remember, we have an instance here. Yeah. So this is the default instance of soul out. And before that, we can check if soul out is initialized, we can return. So we are going to run the init method once. So we are going to call this function when the app starts and here we also need to load the audios that we have so there's a method called load asset yeah as you see when you write load we have load asset load file load url load waveform so you can use load asset to load a file from here from the assets or you can use load url to download an audio from a url so let's say load asset and here I'm gonna say assets 
audio background.mp3 and as a result or as a return it returns an audio source so it's a future we need to await here and we can call it background source so the audio source is something that is loaded from your file or from your asset or from your audio and you can play it using the soul out reference for example you can say soul out dot play so as you see it has two methods play and play 3d so play 3d is the one that i already explained it gets some position position x position y position z and so on so forth but we are going to use the play method because we don't have 3D or positional audios here. And as you see in the play method, you need to pass a parameter called audio source. So here I'm gonna pass the background source. And as a return, we have a sound handle. So background sound handle. Yeah, so the point is that you can play your audio source multiple times. For example, you can play the collect coin or the score.mt file multiple times in the same time. So it's gonna play them in parallel. So you can hear all of them at once or with some delays. And yeah, so the point is that for every play, you will get a sound handle. And using the sound handle, you can pause it, you can change the volume, you can seek or change the playing position or other functions that are available from the soul out. For example, you can change the volume by set volume. And as you see, it gets a sound handle and a volume so for example we can say please update the background sound handle volume to 0.5 or for example we can fade the volume so for example we can say please fade the background sound handle to zero with the duration of one second so when the game over happens we can fade the background music here and yeah, so we can keep the reference of the sound handle to be able to update the playing audio in the future. And yeah, so this is how it works, but I'm not going to play it in the initialize method, but I'm going to have a new function. It can be a void and we can say play background audio. And yeah, by the way, let's load the sources here so we can have a reference of it here. We can say late background source. So it's gonna be here and in the play background audio, we can just play it. And also we can keep the reference of sound handle here or it can be null level playing background. So it's gonna be this one and also we can have a, a stop background music or background audio to be consistent with this naming and it's gonna be a async function and here we are gonna say so loud fade volume or we can just use a stop to immediately stop the audio but here we are going to use fade audio and here we are gonna pass the playing background because it is nullable we can uh, we can have an if a statement here to say if it is null return so it is not playing so we cannot stop it and two can be zero and zero and it can be duration of 500 milliseconds or oh, it is microseconds milliseconds and is it a future no it's just a void method so we can remove the async here okay so now we have the play background audio and stop background audio function so we can use them in the game and also we can have a function to play the score sound effect first of all let's load the audio source here again we are gonna have a score audio source or a score source and it's gonna be so loud load asset assets audio score.mp3 and now we can have a function called play score collect sound 
so we can just copy paste this code from here and in the play method we are gonna pass the score source that is loaded in the initialize function and here i think we don't need to keep a sound handle because we are not going to pause them or we are not going to change the volume. It is just a short audio and it just plays and stops uh, very quickly. And yeah, so there is a point that I want to mention. Uh, in Solout, we have a function called protect or something like this. Yeah. And using the set protect voice, you can protect a sound handle. For example, we can pass it here and we can set it through. So what happens when you protect the audio? By default, Solout has a limitation for the audios that can be played at the same time. And when you reach the limit, it tries to kill the oldest audios or the musics that are playing to free up the space or memory for the new audios that are going to be played. And if you set something protected, it's going to be the highest priority. So it's never going to be killed if an audio is in protected state. So for example, we can protect the background audio and this way so loud is never going to kill the audio because it is the protected audio. Yeah, so also in the play method, we have some features. For example, we have looping. So if you have an audio that can be looped, you can enable this flag or you can define the looping start at so for example 10 seconds of the end of your audio can be looped then you can set this variable to let the so loud loop the audio from the last 10 seconds of the audio but for now we are just going to play it as normal and yeah so the point is that we need to have a single reference of the audio helper because we are loading some resources and we are not going to create a new reference of the audio helper and initialize it and load the audios we are going to have a single tone of this class to load everything once to do that i'm going to use a package called get it and it helps you to do that so it's a service locator and also it can be used as a dependency injection tool so i'm just going to add it uh, let me write flutter hop add get it and now for example you can create a new file called service locator dot dart and here we are gonna create a method it can be a future of void setup service locator and it's gonna be an async so we have get it dot instance and we are gonna define it here final get it equals this one and now we can register some classes for example we can register factory we can register singleton lazy singleton and for our case, we can register a lazy singleton, maybe, yes. And the difference is that the lazy is like, it doesn't instantiate the property unless you use it. So for example, it helps you to reduce the load time. So the first time that you try to uh, use the class that you define here, it's going to be created. And I'm gonna return an audio helper and yes yeah, so I think we are good to go we can also add it here and now we can call setup service locator in our main file so let me add this to the git to have them in green color and here in the main we can setup service locator and yeah, so we can make the main method async. So it's going to be set up everything. Then it's going to uh, run the app. And yeah, so the point is that we are not initializing the audio helper here. We are just registering some instances here as a service locator. So we define this function. And for example, we registered the audio helper as a lazy singleton. And now we need to initialize it somewhere. So to get a reference of the audio helper, we can use get it dot get and in the generic type, we can just use audio helper and this way we will have access to the instance and for example, we can initialize it. 
but I'm going to uh, use this code inside the flappy dash game that we have because here we can make the onload method async so we can have a future of void and it's gonna be async and I'm gonna initialize the audio helper here and yeah, so now when the game onload calls, we are initializing the audio helper and now we are ready to use it in our qubit or wherever that we want to play the sound effect and also the background music. So I'm going to use it in my qubit. Uh, so we have the game qubit and I'm gonna inject it here. So we have audio helper of audio helper. So it's a final reference and I'm gonna get it here so it is injected in the constructor and here we can just use get it dot get and we can pass the audio helper yeah so you see that we can implement a dependency injection using the get it package so it is a service locator but you can do it and it's like a dependency injection that you have and now for example if you want to test the game qubit you can pass a mock reference here to just test the game qubit okay so now in the start playing i'm gonna say play background audio and yes so in the increase score i'm gonna say play score collect sound and in the game over i'm gonna say stop background audio and in the restart game we don't do anything because it just changed the playing state to idle and then user needs to tap on the screen to uh, call this method and let me write a void here and yeah so i think we are ready to go let me run the game again yeah you see the black screen it is the moment that it tries to load the audio so i mean it is better to load the audios in the splash screen or something like that or show a loading but for now that is fine and let's play Yeah, you see that everything is working well. I'm happy about that. So we just play the background audio and also we are playing the sound effect for the coins that you collect or for when you pass the pipe. And also we fade the background audio when the game over happens. So let's try it again. Yeah, you see that we fade the background music so it feels better instead of cutting the audio and just show the game over screen, we fade the audio smoothly. And yeah, so I think it is enough for this video. In the next video, I think we are going to publish it to the web or something like that. And after that, we will have a leaderboard to compete with each other. So everyone can play the game and we record the escorts, we show them and there's gonna be a leaderboard. And don't forget to hit the like and subscribe the channel. And if you like the video, please share it with your friends because it motivates me. And stay tuned for the next video. Bye.